we want a single cell formula that can tell us how many items from data two column are over in the data one column. Visualizing it, we could see there are four, and we want our formula to tell us there are four matches. <laughs> Anytime we're comparing two columns, I use the match function. Now, because we're comparing this whole column, in the lookup value, I'm going to highlight every single item I want to try and find over here, comma. That's the lookup array, comma. We're doing exact match, so zero, close parentheses. Now, remember, our goal is to count how many from this list. That's why in the lookup value argument, we gave it all the items. Because we put all the items here, that tells match to deliver an answer for each one of those items. Now, what does match do? It simply looks the item up and tells you the relative position of that item over in this list. So for Sue, it's going to get 1. For Chin, it's going to get 2. Now, if I click at the end and hit the F9 key to evaluate, NA means it didn't find Toby, but 1, 2. Those are the relative positions of Sue and Chin. We have what we want. Now we need to Control Z to undo that. Simply count how many numbers there are. Now the beautiful thing about count is it will not be affected by those errors because it's programmed to count only numbers. Close parenthesis. And if you're in Office 365, you use the Enter key to enter this formula. If you're in any other version, you have to use Control-Shift-Enter. I'm using Office 365, so when I hit Enter, I get the correct answer of 4. Now, bonus formula number 1. Well, what if we want to visualize this? We highlight the whole range, Home Ribbon Tab, Conditional Formatting, down to New Rule. Or we can use the keyboard, Alt-H-L-N. In the new formatting rule dialog box, we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format, or I can simply hit Page Down. I click in the text box where it says Format Values where this formula is true, or I hit the Tab key. And here, we will use the Match function, but this time the lookup value will be a single cell. Now notice it puts the dollar signs in for us, and I want this as a relative cell reference, so I hit the F4 key one, two, three times. That's the lookup value, comma, within this entire range right here. The lock cells is what I want, comma. Zero for exact match, close parentheses. Now, this formula is in the dialog box. But this dialog box will take that formula and copy it down for each row, just as it did over here, delivering 1, NA, 2, and so on. Any number is interpreted as true, everything else false. So I click Format, some format, whichever you want. Click OK. Click OK. Bonus formula number two, highlight data one column. Match, but match is looking at a relative cell reference, the first item in this list. The lookup array is the data two column, comma zero. Format it how you want. Click OK. Click OK. And now if I change this to Toby, when I hit Enter, I get my conditional formatting and the count updates. Now, if you want to learn more about conditional formatting or array formulas, check out these videos.